government was forced to admit that the carbon tax will cost every single Canadian household more than $1,800 wow. in lost GDP. That's a $30 billion secret they kept. Not once in anything ever released claiming that Canadians were somehow better off with the carbon tax did the minister include these devastating economic costs he knew existed because it was more important for him to continue to spread the falsehood. Canadians deserve to know they deserve a minister who will tell the truth. If he's incapable of that, when's he going to resign? The Honourable Minister for Natural Resources and Energy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I said earlier in this House, it is great to see that the Conservative Party of Canada now actually believes that economists are thoughtful and give good advice. 300 of them signed a letter that told people 8 out of 10 Canadian families do get more money back. I would encourage my honourable colleague to read that letter. And certainly, I would say that as we move forward, we must have a plan to address climate change, but we must do so in a manner that's affordable. That's exactly what carbon pricing does. That is something that we will continue to do, balancing the environment and the economy and, uh, versus a party that actually has no plan for the environment whatsoever. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. This government that gagged the parliamentary okay. budget officer that actually told Canadians the truth and they cherry-picked portions of the data that supports their version of the truth, which makes them look even more guilty. If they truly believed that the carbon tax was helping, they would release the report. Instead, they kept a $30 billion secret from Canadians. The minister wanted to tell Canadians that paying more for gas, for groceries, for home heating, they would be better off. Misleading Canadians about $30 billion. I don't know how he looks anyone in the face. When will the Prime Minister actually fire him? Here, here. The Honourable Minister for the Environment and Climate Change. He does need to step down. How can the Conservative Party of Canada and those members who campaign to put in place a price on pollution, Mr. Speaker, can look anyone in the eyes is beyond me. How can they look anyone in the eyes and say, we're doing nothing to protect you against forest fires. We're doing nothing to protect you against hurricanes. We're doing nothing to protect you against flooding, Mr. Speaker. They have no plan for the economy, they have no plan for climate change, and they have no plan to work with communities to protect them from the devastating impacts of climate change. He thinks taxing us is going to stop a forest fire. The Honourable Member from Haldeman, Norfolk. Mr. Speaker, this government tried so hard to hide the truth that the carbon tax was driving up the cost of everything in Canada. The parliamentary budget officer even had to call them out for blocking the release of their own economic impact report. They were literally forced to release the report. And now we all know that each Canadian family is losing at least $1,800 a year, and there's no rebate for that. So when Will this environment minister finally resign from misleading Canadians? The Honourable Minister for Natural Resources and Energy. I, I would encourage my honourable colleagues on the other side of the House to actually go and talk to the PBO, to talk to economists, to talk to the 300 economists who have said 8 out of 10 Canadian families get more money back, and it's those that live on modest incomes that actually do the best. But I would say the collective amnesia that actually exists on the other side of the House is the pinnacle of hypocrisy. Every one of those members, including the the member opposite who asked the question campaigned on putting in place a price on pollution. It is hypocrisy. Yes. Calm down. The Honourable Member from Haldeman, Norfolk. What is hypocritical, Mr. Speaker, is that even while their carbon tax was costing families more than $1,800 a year, even while they knew that over 2 million Canadian families per month were accessing the food banks, the Liberals continued to try to convince Canadians that they were better off for paying a higher carbon tax. A $1,800 tax is a lot of money to many Canadians. So, when will this Liberal government give Canadians back their money and fire the Environment Minister? The Honourable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Mr. Speaker, this government is very proud of this Environment Minister who has put the first credible plan on the table in history to meet our Paris agreements, the Paris agreement that they want to rip up. No surprise, they've gotten all Speaker, are better off. They're standing up for the more uh, well-off in our society, just like they want to move on from what they did two days ago, which was stand up for the 0.13% 
of Canadians, not the people who draw a paycheck, make an honest living, go to work every day, and, and pay their taxes on time. Mr. I know all members are uh, excited to be returning to their ridings for the weekend, but I'll, I'll ask if we could, uh, to move things along quickly, I'll ask members only to take the floor when they, uh, when they have recognized by the chair. The Honourable Member for Megantic L'Erable. $30.5 billion, $30.5 billion per year. That's what the Bloc Liberal tax is costing our economy every year. It's nearly $2,000 in cost per family that the Minister of the Environment wanted to hide. The Minister of the Environment knew it. He voluntarily hid the numbers from Canadians. After having voluntarily hid those numbers, will the Minister of the Environment have the courage to stand up before all Canadians and resign for not having told them everything? The Honourable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Mr. Speaker, this member from Quebec will never, never do what the Minister of the Environment, also from Quebec, has done for Canada by presenting a credible plan to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And respect will respect the Paris Agreement, the Paris Agreement they want to withdraw from. It's no surprise that this member wants to withdraw us from a plan that favors eight out of ten Canadians and will help us reach our targets on climate change, Mr. Speaker. That member should be ashamed. The Honourable Member for Megantic L'Erable. He's quite right. Never, ever will I hide five billion dollars in costs for a carbon tax from Quebecers, because that's exactly what the Minister of the Environment has done. In his own documents, line 17, column AN, the carbon tax costs Quebecers $5 billion per year. The, the tax supported by the Bloc Québécois, Mr. Speaker, after wanting to make fun of the parliamentary budget officer who was telling the truth we know now, will the Minister of the Environment step down? <laughs> The Honourable Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. Mr. Speaker, on this side of the House, we will never be ashamed of being there for Canadians. Standing up for their rights to clean water, clean air, a high-quality environment, as opposed to the Conservatives. The ignorance of the Conservative Party on this issue, Mr. Speaker, is boundless. He just needs to look around him. If he speaks to the member seated behind him, she can explain that Quebec has its own carbon pricing system before the federal government did. And there are many conservative members who voted in favor of carbon pricing at the provincial level. This is nonsense. 